I've been shooting a lot lately and not posting as much, as I'm trying new techniques and hacks behind the scenes. I really enjoyed putting together this tutorial on brushes and I hope you all enjoy it as well. Photoshop brushes are really incredible time savers. They allow you to quickly create amazing artworks without having to draw all the individual design elements. In this tutorial, I've rounded up some of my favorite free Photoshop brushes, which all came from Brush Easy, a website with a massive collection of free Photoshop brushes. Before we get to the Photoshop brushes, what I'm doing right now is adjusting some of the colors, lights, and tones of the picture by using curves. So that's a before and after. All I basically did was brighten up the image and add a little bit more contrast. And now I'm using the lasso selection tool to create a selection around my body. Once I see the marching ants, I'm going to paint around that selection after inversing it. And I'm going to choose, in this case, a dark gray color. And I'm just going to fill in all the space. And then I'm going to create like a gradient type of effect by selecting a darker paintbrush and coloring, coloring in the bottom half of the image. And with a pretty hard edge black paintbrush, I'm going to paint around the rest of my body, which there are so many different ways you can do this, but I'm not using a selection tool or anything like I normally do except for in between the fingers. And this is actually a before and after of what I just did. Now that the photo is in place and the background is the way that I like it, I'm bringing the image into Visco and adding cooler tones to the image. So with the touch of a button, I have cooler tones already and the color is a lot more cold than it was before. Now time to use the Photoshop brushes. So as you can see, I'm using this brush, which I found on Google by typing free light ray brushes into Brush Easy. And a bunch of things came up. So I selected the color of my dress to get the color of the light that I wanted, kind of a whitish blue color. And now that I've painted on some of the light rays, you can see that I'm erasing some of it and I'm reducing the opacity and fill of the background copy layer that I'm using to paint these light rays onto so that they don't appear so dominant and so strong. Um, even though in some cases I like when it appears super strong, it just depends on which light ray I'm using. Now I'm selecting another brush. I don't remember exactly what it's called to be honest. It's some sort of light brush. Um, so maybe it's called a light streak or a light brush. You can try googling it and finding it. But I'm using a white blue color to paint this light ray onto the image and then I'm going to reduce the opacity of the layer so it's not super strong. And then I'll create a layer mask and erase some of it from my body. And now I'm just going in and using different light rays. Now this is a paintbrush um, brush that I'm using to kind of add more of a light, but not just a light, kind of like a sprayed kind of painterly light to the picture. Um, so you can find these paintbrushes by typing in uh, free paintbrushes onto Google or Brush Easy and they will pop up. And now I'm going to a different brush. So it's a different pa paintbrush and I'm just using a much smaller brush and I'm just adding on some of that white light from the paintbrush onto the main image. And the next step is to add the stars. So I found these stars by typing in something like space brushes and like moon brushes came up and like half moon brushes and all sorts of like space brushes came up, different comets, things like that. So I'm using this star brush and I'm going to paint on a bunch of stars onto the main image and then create my layer mask on my background copy layer and erase away from some of the stars so there's not so many stars. And you can see I'm really starting to get the image where I want it to be. I'm clicking that background copy layer of all the brushes combined on and off so you can see what it looked like before. Now I'm going to my selective color adjustment layers and reducing the yellow from the cyan to create an even more blue effect. And I just added on a bunch of selective color adjustment layers in addition to that one layer. With the paintbrush tool, I'm going to make parts of my body and dress a little bit darker. So I blend in with the image more. Then I'm going to use a brook shaded texture 
on the main image and I'm just going to put that in place and then change the blending mode I believe to lighten yes so this is a lighten blending mode and then I'm going to create my layer mask on my texture and just brush some of the texture away from my legs and my skin because that's just not the look I'm going for in this picture and this is the final image a nice sweet simple tutorial to tell you a little bit about brushes there's a lot of free Photoshop brushes out there. Some other useful ones are cloud brushes, hair brushes, paint brushes, you name it. There's pretty much a brush for everything. I'm trying to think of other information I could give you about brushes, but if you have any questions or want to know something specific, you can always email me, hit me up on Instagram, and I'll do my best to answer whatever question you have.